Welcome to another Jury Guy video where hands on learning is priority one. I'm an Azure administrator, an Azure security engineer, as well as an Azure solutions architect. Question 15 Network policy. Create the namespace app stack. Retrieve the following pod definition. Create a network policy YAML file. The network policy should allow incoming traffic from the back end to the database, but disallow incoming traffic from the front end. Incoming traffic to the database should only be allowed on TCB port 3306. Hey, welcome to another question, question 15. And our first task, we're going to combine two tasks in this first part. Create the namespace app stack and then retrieve a pod definition from uh, my GitHub site. So first we'll create the namespace. And we want to call it app stack. Very good. And then we'll go ahead to my GitHub site. And that path is I should, I will paste it in the YouTube title. So you have it, but here it is right here. So that's where I am now. So you just want to go to raw, highlight this, control S, uh, control C, yes. Come back, we'll type in code, and we'll call it network PML. Control V, and there it is. So this is the complete file that you want. This is going to create us three, as you can see, three different uh, pods with one container each. Uh, one container called front end running nginx, another pod called back end running nginx, and then a third container running date called database running MySQL. So the whole goal of the lab is be able to communicate from back end to database, but not front end to database. All right. So let's go ahead and save this. And we're done with the first two tasks. All right, welcome back to the question. We're going to create a network policy YAML file, and that policy file should allow incoming traffic from the back end to the database, but this allows incoming traffic from the front end. All right, so I'm going to click over here to network policies, and all I did here was in the search window type in network policies. We come with this very fine example. I'm going to take this control C and come back here, bring up my code. Q, I'm going to call this q15.yaml. There are some things we don't need. We're not doing any egress policing, and we're not doing IP block. And we're not doing name selector. All right. So the way I can look at this is from the bottom to the top, meaning source, destination. So we're allowing from the back end to the database on port 3306. And our app, let's set these up. 
is called to do. And that's common to both our source and destination. So I'm going to change both of these. Uh, app. To do. And then here, it's going to be tier. And this is back end. From the back end to the front end, I mean, to the database tier is what we're going to allow traffic. So this is saying from the back end on port, on TCB port 3306, allow in ingress traffic to any pod that has app to do and tier database set to their labels. And we're going to change this namespace because we're using app stack. And we could leave this as test, but we'll change this to app stack as well. All right, so let's go ahead here, save, close, editor. All right, next, whoops, next we want to create our code, so cube ctl create slash f, I think I called it network p dot yaml, or network policy, That's, that'll create our three pods. Go take a look at those, get pods, namespace, and it is app stack. Got three pods running. Then we'll actually create the network policy, which we call q15.yaml. And we can do a kubectl get network policies oh, I'm having a hard time typing namespace app stack and then there it is and you can see the pod selector on set to do and database I don't know if describe works here. Let's see what we get. And it's, oh, here we go, allowing Ingus traffic 3306 from pod selector to do backend. And nothing about outgoing traffic so pretty 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 good information there we're looking pretty good now and uh, next uh, you know officially we're done let's go ahead and check to make sure the traffic is working as expected all right what we want to do is create a temporary pod and test connectivity from the back end to database on 3306 to make sure it works. So we'll do a kubectl run test. We'll call it just test. And we'll use our good friend busybox. And we want this to restart equals never labels equal to app equals to do and back end equal to a tier for the back end and then the namespace equal to app stack 
we want to remove it and we want it to be interactive and we're going to shell to it. Ooh, before we run that command, I should have got the IP address. I hate to lose that command. So let's see if I could take this, do control C, hopefully I didn't lose it. And we need to get the IP address of the database, kubt get pods dash o wide. Ah, namespace. And app stats. All right, so back end, that's, that's, that's that. We need the IP address of the database. So there it is. Can I do a paste? Oh, yes, I can. Outstanding. Okay, oh, my bad, wget dash o 172.16.1.5.3306. There we go. Now let's clear, I'm going to clear my screen. And we'll do on 33.05, and now we're going to time out. Yeah, you can see it's going to take a while to connect. I'm going to pause the video to say the time out. Okay. So now we want to try it from the front end to the database, and that should fail. So we'll, use, we'll change this from test to test one. Change this tier to front end, everything else should be able to stay the same, I do believe. Do wget 172.16, oh, I forgot the IP address again. Bummer, 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 bummer. All right, uh, let's get out of this. All right, so kubectl get pause namespace. All right, so now we got that. That box is still going to be running. So let's make another one. All right, so w get <laughs> Hold on. There we go. 172.16.1.5306. Now this should not connect. And it's not going to. So, all right, so that is excellent. Another question answered. See you guys on the next video.